Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm Miss Michelle. And I'm Mr. Joe. And we are from the RF Sync Memorial Library Science Squad. Today, what we will be presenting to you are science experiments that involve chemical reactions. Now, you might ask yourself, Miss Jennifer, what is a chemical reaction? A chemical reaction occurs when the old bonds are broken down uh, from the other chemicals and new bonds are created. Let's see Michelle at vinegar and baking soda to a cup. Wow. Okay. This is called this is called a chemical reaction because what 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 has been formed is carbon dioxide because the vinegar and the baking soda they mix to form new chemical bonds. So that is a chemical reaction. What we will be doing in the chemical reaction experiments, we will be demonstrating a self-inflated balloon, and we will be we will also demonstrate a, a cap, an explosive cap. Okay, so the first one that we will do is the self-inflated balloon. The supplies that you would need is a funnel. You would need a large latex balloon. You, you can get the other smaller ones, but large, um, it fits a lot better and it's easy to, uh, to manipulate. Then you wanna use a bottle, <clears throat> soda bottle, water bottle, that is fine. You also wanna use vinegar and baking soda. So what we have done for the purposes of this video, we have pre-filled our water bottle with vinegar. Yep, it's about halfway full. We use a funnel. And show them how you use the other funnel to put the other baking soda. Oh, okay. No, 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 the baking soda in the balloon. Show them how you use it. So we use the other bacon, uh, the other funnel to put the um, the other bacon soda into the balloon. Um, <clears throat> for the purposes of this video, the balloon has already been filled with four tablespoons of bacon soda. Okay. Now what Michelle is going to do? She is going to put the balloon on top of the um, the uh, lid of the other water bottle, and she's gonna pour the baking soda in slightly, and what we have in front of us is a self-inflated balloon, okay? All right, Ooh, and we go. see that some of the other carbon dioxide, it is coming out on the side, but that's okay as long as you get your self-inflated balloon. Okay, and that is, that is the end of the self-inflated balloon experiment. Now we are going to move on. Thank you, Mr. Jim. We are going to move on to the explosive cap. Okay. Now, what we have in front of us, we have different different caps, and basically, um, I got these from from Amazon, and um, they are the old camera caps. Um. And what we have done is we have put, put vinegar in them um, and we, we, we don't have the same amount. The, the amounts vary because what we want to do is we want to see, um, we want to, uh, to measure um, if we use a little bit of, of vinegar, will the experiment work? If we use a lot of vinegar, will it, will it explode higher? So we just want to, 
we, we, we just want to test different hypotheses with this. Okay, now, um, what we are doing as well, we are adding baking soda to the top of the caps. It is easy to do it this way. Um, and instead of trying to put it into the, um, the, uh, the film canisters. So the supplies that you will be using for this, film canisters, baking soda, and vinegar. Okay, the, um, the uh, first first canister that she has that does not have a lot of vinegar. So we are going to see how this one works. And this created a little bit of fizz. Did you want to try one, Mr. Jones? I'll try one. Okay. The uh, next one has a little bit more, more of the other vinegar. So we are going to see how that works. There it goes. Well, that thing almost popped a hole into the library <laughs> outside ceiling. Okay. All right. So, moving on down the line. Go ahead. Okay. This one has a little bit more than what Joe had. A little bit more, more of the other vinegar. <laughs> and we're going to see, did it lose its thunder or what? I, I, I think it kind of lost its thunder. Let me see what this one does. So let's go ahead and give Michelle another go at it to see. Is it a... That lost its thunder too. Joe, mm -hmm. it's your turn. Would you like to try again? Again? This experiment is fun. Um, we do ask that all of the experiments that we do today, please do these experiments outside. And that one just, it, it feels a bit, but it didn't go any farther. Okay, so we have one more left. And that's like almost half full. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have one that. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that scared me. We had two that exploded. Basically, these are uh, safe forms of um, safe forms of. A, Explosions that you can use um, in lieu of firecrackers. Now, in front of me, we have some books that are on these cards that you can check out from the library. The library is currently closed right now. However, um, if you do want these books or books that are similar to these books or any other book, you can go ahead and give us a call and we can check these books out to you. If for some reason, um, and it went again, if for some reason you do not want to check out books like this, whatever book that you would like to check out, um, you can um, give us a call or you can email us from our email link that is on our webpage. My name is Jennifer. Hi, Joe. And I'm Michelle. And just remember, MWR, we are always here for you. Until next time, bye-bye.